this is the VI dock that I purchased from Power Notebooks. You can see I've got it set up just right here. Big fan on the back. All the fun stuff on the side. The actual product comes with a couple of different back plates, so you can swap that out pretty easily. Notice just some thumb screws. You could use that, pull it out, pull out the card, and swap it out at a later time. The laptop that I'm going to be using it on is a Lenovo T400. Let's see if you get that. It is a fresh install of Windows 7, uh, and the only thing I've done to it so far is install. This thing's got a PC card slot and an Express card slot in the same place. I plug it in, immediately the power light comes on. And you see it says, if I get this thing to focus, installing drivers. So I'll walk you through the beginning of the driver installation. Here for status. So it's got three. It's got a VGA controller, high definition audio controller, audio device on high definition audio bus. Uh, ready to use already is the high definition audio controller. That's the one in the middle. La la la. Okay, back from restart. Go into my VI doc folder that I mentioned and start installing the drivers. Yes. Uncheck folding at home. Not needed for this. Install. Wait patiently. So, a uh, quick reboot, driver layer, plugged and unplugged the card, you can see I'm in the Catalyst Control Center, video card, ATI Radeon uh, HD 4670, if I click Screen Resolution, uh, which is in Windows 7, the Display Properties, Detect, oh, sorry, Identify, 1, 2, 2 is the Dell 1908 FP that I'm sitting on right now, uh, 1 is the LCD on the laptop, the T400. So, okay, out. Fix this. The next thing I'm going to do is install Crisis. Okay, so here we are. We're in Crisis. I have pulled the VI dock out. Uh, I'm sitting at the menu. I will tell you that it took about two, maybe three minutes. Uh, it could have been longer. I was paying attention to a couple of other things to get Crisis to come up. I will go into Options. System Settings, Graphics. Now, the smart thing to do, I guess, uh, quasi-smart, is to say Optimal Settings. Let me see if I can turn this light off. There we go. Uh, optimal Settings, System Change to Medium Spec. Now, it's still at 1024 by 768. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down to 800 by 600. Uh, full screen is on, anti-aliasing is off. If I go into advanced, you'll see that everything is at medium. So apply. Yes. Do I want to keep? Okay. Single player. New game. Start game. Okay, we just made it through the uh, intro, demo, movie, loading. I'm at 50% now. And uh, again, 800 by 600, all medium settings. All laptop, 100% laptop here. There's the VI dock. There we go. Yet. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'll bring it back as soon as this comes up. There we go. Just started. Uh, I sat another about two minutes. Okay. This should be another couple of seconds. into the plane. The screen is responding uh, super slowly. Uh, it looks like it's freezing and then moving, freezing and then moving. It's not a delay of the encoding of the video.
I'll go just a few more seconds of this and then I'm going to go ahead and kill it because uh, uh, it's probably just as painful for you to watch it as it is for me to record this. Uh, so here we go. We're now floating into the screen, the jet is going to be in the screen here in just a second. The, uh, the carrier. I mentioned it. It looks like it's maybe a frame a second. <laughs> oh, you get the idea. It's uh, it's it's coming up painfully slowly. So here's what I'm. Uh, I'm gonna hit escape. Let me see back. Okay, back from a reboot, and here's what we've got. I've just plugged in the uh, express card. It's going back here. I am at this time going to go ahead and double click because uh, this is going to load as I talk through this. The uh, VI dock is up and running, and you can see that the cable goes directly from the VI dock to the monitor. So I think you can see that. Sorry for the buzz. My optical drive seems loose in this laptop. I just borrowed it for the uh, for the day. So here comes crisis. Again, here's my laptop monitor, external monitor. There we go. Uh, on the onboard graphics, that process took about four minutes uh, to accomplish. Hitting spacebar to now move through these in-game ads. Hey, come on. I'm going to load the game uh, that I started on the other monitor a moment ago. Uh, first, I'm going to make sure that I've uh, got these graphics. 1024 by 768 is what I'm sitting at now. Anti-aliasing 2. Uh, I'm still on medium for everything. But, uh, I'm going to go back to single player. Load the game. This is going to take a couple of seconds. And Q Doctor. Game loaded August 7th, 2020. This is Dr. Helena Rosenthal of the IAS research team stationed on the Lake It's kind of hard to see. The dark screen here, you can still see the shadow like things floating. Uh, I hit the space bar, so yeah, seven days later. Cool, we'll move me into this video. Uh, I'll, I'll let it sit for a second, let it show, let you see the jet kind of coming into the skyline. Uh, you can see, obviously, that it's quite a bit more responsive. This I lost the suit! My suit's gone! My damn suit is gone! I've got no pain, no reserve. Keep it together, kid. You're over water. The suit should absorb the impact. <laughs> no so you can What's see the that the game I'm holding the okay. uh, camera. Okay. Kind of My hood scrambled. What the hell this. was that? I don't know. But you can see that the game is totally playable here. On my way. I mean, I'm just swimming. Did anyone hit the hell mm -hmm. You guys are all over the place. Check in. So I come here. I'm going to go ahead and pause, turn off the game, just and uh, exit out. So you can see that I'm really happy with this. The VI dock does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, it gives you the ability to, to play games that, quite frankly, otherwise you wouldn't be able to play. Um, I uh, think this is a pretty neat thing, and uh, I'm looking forward to the VI dock 4, and then I will uh, start using the external dock on my uh, laptop that has uh, an existing 280M GTX in it that I'm hoping the 4890 will smoke. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot, and email me if you have any questions. Thanks.